What's up, it's Matthew from Sweet Jamaica. I'm in downtown Kingston right now, and it's a very exciting day because I'm hanging out with Mick from Yard Life's Good. It's an amazing local channel here, super authentic, very unique. He knows some crazy spots that I've never heard about, and he's showing us around today. We're at the first spot here, just across from a recording studio and record pressing plant, about to get, I think, some crab, some corn, some soup. I don't know what's going on, but I'm gonna link Mick below. Please do subscribe and like his channel. Highly, highly recommended for amazing Jamaican content. So let's go catch up with Mick. And this is Paul right here. Okay. So, yeah, this is Paul right now. Hi, Paul. How are you? I'm Matthew. How yeah, are my John nice Paul? Yeah, yeah, man. Cool. Yeah. And I'm with Mick from Yard Life's Good. Thanks for meeting up with me, man. Big up. I appreciate it. Big up. So much. I love the channel. I've been yeah, following man. for a while. And I was just telling, this man has the hottest names in the game for the video. <laughs> You're so smart, I gotta start naming a bit more creative. So. Yeah, my respect, man. Big up to you. Respect every time. Ready to eat some food? I'm very ready, yeah. All right. Yeah. We'll see what I'm going on the place. All right. All right. Paul, what do we have going on today? Right. Oh, this is a crab. Oh, wow. Just ready, you know. It's a live one in the box. Oh, yeah, we got live and. Yeah. Whoa! This is a live crab in the bucket. <laughs> this is a live crab. <laughs> Clean them up and show them another part. Yes, sir. Now these are the land crabs. This is, is the land right? crab. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. Pepper, Everything? especially the pepper. The pepper stand out. All okay. Right. Yeah, man. Crazy land crab vibes, man. Man, so they yeah, really man. are blue. They they call them blue crabs, yeah. Now I know I should not stick my finger in here, but we'll get the camera in here. Way red hot. Vicious, vicious. Yeah. And and this these right the, here. These are the salt fish. Okay. Yeah, we clean up the salt fish. We'll go with the yam. Okay, beautiful. Yes. Jamaican oh. classics. All right. Yeah. yeah. Fresh Over here. Fresh tomato. Okay. Onion. See, that's some of them already prepared. Okay. This is the roast yam. Got it. All done on nice coals. Oh, yes. Get and this nice is the corn. Okay. Steaming to roast. Get that nice smoky smell here already. All right. So nice looking. Yeah. And this is the, the sauce. Oh man! This is a salt fish on the tomato. That cook up will go with the yam and salt fish. Okay, what, what else is in here? I see uh, onions, onions, pepper, sweet pepper, hot pepper, ah. and tomato. How spicy is it, would you say, 1 to 10? Uh, give our own like 8%. Okay. Yeah? Yeah. yeah. Looks amazing. Yes. Oh man. Alright. And this is a soup. Okay. Big pot. Wow. This is cow skin. Okay. Cow yes. skin. Red pea soup. That's another Jamaican That's a, Jamaican classic. Oh, cow skin and red peas. I had a couple times once in the Coronation Market oh. and then once out by, where was I? Kind of near uh, Port Morant. But. All right. Wow. Yeah. Lots of peas and cow skin. How long will it take you to sell out this amount? That's a good amount. Yeah. Take it for the day. Yeah, nice. sometimes sometime go faster than yeah, the yeah. day. Yeah. I know people like people yeah. used to this soup. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, this is a boiled corn. Okay. Natural corn, no meat. I see. Straight corn, no noodle, no meat. Straight ital. Yes. Ital, no meat. Season up with skeleton and thyme and pepper. No meat. Boiled corn, just like that. Season up with pepper and stuff. No meat. Now Mick was saying we better get here early because some of this stuff does sell out if you're not here on time. So we're here kind of late morning. Get here before it's gone. These are the crabs that cook from down there ah. and transfer up here. Okay. All crabs ready. Ready to eat. Big nice. Oh, that's a big one. Yes. Oh, look at the leg. Big nice crabs. Look at the arm on that one. Mad. So the thing, the thing with this salt fish, you know what? Most people boil the salt fish and our, our, yeah, boil up the salt and then cook it down with the seasoning. Yeah. Yeah. It's not the case here. Them roast it. Roast the salt Get off the salt yeah. off it, wash it up and like then that, soak it off, it. then roast it like yeah, this. Man. Okay. And then yeah, put man. it with the tomato and onion. Different yeah, flavor. So Different it, take, flavor. it takes the salt off same way same with the roast and Same way. I already taste. Yeah. Okay. okay. You want the taste of it? Yeah, yeah, yeah sure. Salt? I'd love to, yeah. Yeah, man. Definitely, man. So it's when it roasts, it get that little crispiness on the edge. Ah, Cause sometimes yeah. it, it, it burn, the burn where it get, that give the flavor, wicked flavor, man. So is this yeah, one man. of your go-to spots here? <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> Definitely, man. Yeah. Definitely. Yes, this man. This is the first place he mentioned to me. I said, hey, I'm coming to Jamaica. I'd love for you to show me some authentic Jamaican street food. Yeah. He said, I got the place for you right away. So All right. you guys are the, the first that came to mind. And these are the, the uh, yellow yam. Yellow yam. Yellow yam. Yellow yam. I know there's a whole heap of different type of yams yes. here. I've had some amazing renta yam too, the soft yes. yam from the mountain before. Yes. And so you know a yam then, man. I know a little bit. I know a couple <laughs> types. Yeah. Still learning as always, but oh, looks great. Now, is there a favorite that people come here for, or they come here for a little bit of everything? Every, everything. Yeah. Everything. Here is this going on, you know. Yeah. Here is my grandmother started the business. No way. Yes. Oh, wow. I know my mother take over the business, my grandmother passed away. Family tradition going. Yeah. And where are we, we exactly so I can tell everyone to come here? Right at Tarrington Bridge. Yeah. Before we reach the Hero Circle. Right at Tarrington Bridge. Marcia and Paul. Marcia and Paul. And so. Awesome to meet you both. I'm yes. very excited. Yes. Yeah, look at that fish is crisp up from the nice hot coals. Beautiful. All right. Thank respect you, Paul. Respect. Oh, it looks great. Maybe we can use the car as a table. Yeah, man. I got thing with Jamaica, you know. Yeah. We go all natural, you know. Yeah. We go all natural when we are eating, you know. We don't like the pretty up, pretty up thing. Yeah. No right. fancy restaurant style. Yeah. This is a real Jamaican vibe. You grab a stone, you set it on a old car, look, on, look how the car old. This is the vibe. Beautiful. Yeah, man, the real Jamaican vibe. Well, this looks crazy nice. Even the colors, you can see the yeah, color of the tomato, just nice one. and sweet looking. The onion. Now, I was expecting, oh man, if you don't wash out the fish, is it going to be overly salty? But you said it does get kind of crazy. Uh, turn a different crazy. flavor. Yeah, yeah man. Oh, they managed to, 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 to make the flavor just different. Okay. Different. Yeah, man. Right. You see, Hero Circle. Yeah. Hero Circle, that's the main spot to get um, your crabs and boil cans and stuff. And Rosiam, people normally look over this spot because that's the bigger... Yeah, there's um, a bunch right next to each other. Yeah, right, right yeah, next yeah. to each other. So people normally um, look over this spot because it's just stuck right here. Yeah. But may I tell you, right here is just unique and amazing. Even though it's kind of the same stuff, right here is just different. Yeah, the, yeah. It's just the environment, everything, even though it's just a few minutes away, Right here is just different one. And so cool, right across from a recording studio and pressing plant. Just cool, no, man. We are going to dip in it, man, right? You can't now. get much more Jamaican than that. So. Yeah, man. Hey, man. Man, you see this? You see this? Yes, sir. You see saltfish? You can't go wrong with saltfish. Whether I, whether I roast or stick, Jamaican vibes, you can't go wrong. Yeah. You can't go wrong. All right, let's Original see. vibes. And this is tomato. And remember, these are not cooked right out. The tomato not cook right out, it just barely get maybe a few minutes worth of steam. Yeah man. <laughs> yeah, the juice! <laughs> this man looks like he's about to jump. <laughs> <laughs> the juice will... The juice will burst in your mouth when you... Oh my god. <laughs> Alright, I gotta dip in too, this is looking yeah, too good. Like I said, I was nervous. Not nervous, but is this going to be overly salty? Normally with the salt fish, you have to soak that thing and you have to soak it for a while. And picking and, you know, it's, it's, a, it's a real process. So, I'm going to try this here. Mm. That is super nice. Yeah, it is. It's not overly salty at all. It just gets a nice liquid from that fresh tomato. The tomato is not overdone, so it still kind of holds together. It's not falling apart. The onion's got the perfect density, just a little bit of crispiness to it, not kind of falling apart. And the roast yam has such a... It's so smoky, so soft, and very much a different flavor than the, the renta yam or the mountain yam, the soft yam a white light colored yam that you can see i'll put a link to those videos we did uh, with some of the renta yam below but this is fantastic there's something that is so nice about the crispy roasted charred skin on the outside i just love how that's done i know some people just want to get it perfect and not burn it at all but this is my actual favorite way to eat vegetables 
especially when barbecued. Give it a little bit of a sear, give it some crispiness, give it some char, and it's extra, extra crunchy, extra flavorful, and just blends with the softness of the yam. It's super good, oh my god. Mm. I'm, I'm really shocked it's not too salty. And spice level is minimal, it's just a little bit of warmth. I'd say, if you're not a spice person, very easy to handle, just a flavorful spice. This is a gaff, this is a gaff for it. Straight up for wow, it. Wow, no way. Yeah, man, so we are clean up, up the crab, you know. Take off the back part of the crab. Clean up, we clean up and give him the foot and the body. Straight Take, up a new yard. Straight up a new no yard, give him up for it. Two of them say, man, he might come right, him just call me. <laughs> straight from the airport. <laughs> they might come pick them up. This pose at the back. Yeah. Yeah, and clean up right here. And the ah. crab. How often do you get orders like this? Well, when the season ripe like now, ah. people get, we have some people overseas always buy from me. I'm call and for them to come, can prepare some for them to take up back. Yeah. You're missing the taste of home. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Pepper, mm -hmm. coarse salt, pimento seed, mm -hmm. and scallion. A crab, a crab time, no, don't. Yes. No, yeah. I went a normal crab time. A really, yeah, really mere. Yeah, really, yeah. I know what the time is. Yeah, yeah. Right 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 you, you know, since the last time you come, never have them huge yeah, ones here. Huge one yeah, because yeah. the rain never start fall yet right, the right, right. way. Yeah, so, man. since the rain not fall from what they may get some nice big ones. Yeah, the guys them bring some nice ones, come sell big ones, come sell. Me. I was going to say, these seem a lot bigger than the ones that I normally see. Yes, yeah, yeah. 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 There's fresh yeah, scotchies. I just planted four scotch bonnet peppers in my backyard. So we'll see if they grow in Canada okay, I don't know. <laughs> we'll find out. We usually grow some pretty good peppers, so. In our backyard? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Them, them do well in a cool? You, uh, well, you know, this. That's we get, we get our cool, six, uh, six months that are warm. Oh. And we get one growing season, that's it. Okay, so. Okay. Good for the peppers, good for the ganja, you know. Got the nice breeze today to keep the pot yeah, coals cool. going. Yeah. Oh, I see all the pimento in there. All the pimento. Look at all the pimento berry in the yes. scotchies. Yes. All right. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God, man. Look there. Hot, hot crabs are come out of the pot. Look one there. Hot crabs are come out and, and live one are go through mm. going. All right, so here's our, our sample leg before we get to the real thing. Try to do this one handed like a pro. Mm. Oh, I didn't even get into the, the meat here. I, I can already taste a nice scotchy on that. My goodness. So, a little difficult to do one handed. You can see the, see the little bit of meat in there. Just our little appetizer for the whole thing. Mmm. So nice, so tender. I can see why people are ordering this all the way from New York. <laughs> Someday I won't have the budget for that. Just get 12 crabs fresh from Jamaica sent to your, your home. So I've seen some videos of catching these crabs. I haven't gone and tried it myself yet, but I'm gonna link a video to another YouTuber below called Your Boy Seal, amazing travel vlogger, probably my favorite travel vlogger out there, who went into the mangroves with some locals and was filming them catching crabs with their bare hands. It's pretty gnarly, kind of freaky, jamming your hand into a hole that you can't see what's in there. The danger of getting your fingers pinched off by a crazy blue land crab, but it's pretty epic. So check the video link here, or I'll link it up top. Check out your boy Seal, awesome vlogger. Did you ever go hunting for them yet yourself? Mm -hmm. the land crabs? Mm -hmm. It looks like a dangerous business. I'm afraid I didn't yeah, yeah, me too. Yeah, man. I like having all my fingers, you know? Yeah, man. I need these. Yeah, man. A dangerous thing, man. Uh -huh. Dangerous thing. But it, 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 I tried once. It is fun. It is fun, but, but dangerous at the same time. Yeah, man. Nice. Yes. Whoa. So, so that means you, you only catch down with the hand then. You only, you only put your hand down like this. You mark? You only, you only hold one like this. So you hold it from the side? Yeah, you hold it for like this. Can I try? Eh? Can I try? Alright, I'm hold it. Let me grab one. Hold it too clean. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, for real. Let me try right. to grab one out the pot myself. Eh? No, yeah, mine you know. enough. <laughs> Mine, mine, no, no, no. No, no. Ah! <laughs> it's scary when you yeah. haven't done it before. The next one is spin, no, no, 
Ba ba time we spin over and back. It's freaky man. Oh, it's in there. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Ah! <laughs> yeah, I'm, back, man. I'm trying, I'm trying. Yeah, man. I'm morning, back, like, so. Oh, so easy, yeah, easy. Yeah. When we run down crab, we tap on crab, so I'm just pick him up. <laughs> Cheer him in and we're back. You got it easy. Yeah. Oh, it's so freaky when there's so many of them, man. Uh, you see, I can just see, uh -huh. lick a one. You're Grab pro. Yeah. It's amateur over here for me. Yeah. Amateur yeah. hour. Come on, bless up the seven. Bless up the seven. A real old yeah, dark spoon, this. All right, guys. Real spoon. Good to meet you. Oh, yeah. 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 Ah! <laughs> Got him! Wait, well, say, catch him. Success! Whoa. Finally. Not too close to the face. There you go. <laughs> I had to at least get one. I can't give up so easy. <laughs> yes, Carl. Yeah. <laughs> so no, you can you can start out your own. No. Oh, amazing! Yeah. Okay. Tarun. Now, what's what's your technique for eating them? Do you start with the legs yourself, or the claw, or a couple of the legs first? Yeah. Then we go the big claw, and then we go in at the belly. Okay. Yeah, man. That's my technique. Couple of the legs first because you know you're not gonna eat up all of the legs at once. True. Couple of them first, then you go the big claw. Techniques, but yeah, the techniques, the start on the small legs, them. These little ones, enjoy, yeah, 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 enjoy yeah. it. Yeah. Bite here, bite here, and draw the meat. Much. This is authentic street dining. Much respect to Mick for lining this up. I've noticed worldwide everyone has a little different technique with these things, so I like to watch and learn. So let's see how Mick does this first. So we normally start off with the little legs, them first. Give you a vibe, start you off the right way, you know, like, like a car engine. <laughs> so you use this for, you, this are the key. So you start up, start <laughs> up your tummy, you understand? So you use the small legs on you. Whoa. The more, the more you, 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 you go in, the more you just want to go in. You just want to go, you know, want to stop. I love that idea of starting Whoa. the, starting the, uh, mm -hmm. the key to your stomach. Mm -hmm. Get the engine running first. Whoa. You can't put your you foot on all the, the gas. Juice? Wow. All of the juice and the flesh just pop out of that. Just like that. So you use this to start up the whole vibe. Mm -hmm. Same way so. Same way so. And then you just go in at the big leg. After you eat like all four of these now, you just go in at the big one. Crack it up and then you go in at the belly. All of the juice, everything just hit different. Yeah man. Ooh. Look at the, look at the bit of scotchy just right on the edge of the leg there. Just waiting for me. Mmm. Mmm. All right, I got the key to my belly going. Oh, it's so nice, nice and tender. A very sweet tasting crab, I gotta say. Mm. And you know, this is really one of those delicacies. It's a lot of work for a little bit of reward, but the reward is so sweet and nice. Ah. But respect to anyone who is grabbing these things with their hands. That is not an easy business. I mean, I, you could see how nervous I was even just getting one out of the pot. It's not simple. And uh, yeah, very happy to still have all my fingers. Mmm. Taste that pimento in there, so nice. The moment we've been waiting for. Oh. Look at that. Oh man, there's so much juice hiding this, I can sip it like a cup. <laughs> like a shot of spice and pimento. Oh man. Oh, I don't want to miss it. Man, the kick on that is just perfect. Kind of made a mess of it, but we're in the big claw here. Mm. It really takes in that pimento spicy flavor. It reminds me of, uh, you know, these nice simple Italian dishes that only have a few, a few items in them. Mm. Every once in a while you get one that's got extra kick and somehow maybe we're sitting right next to the scotchy <clears throat> and feel it a lot more, but it's still not overpowering at all. 
Right, we got the baby claw here. Not as much action as the big one, but still delicious. Mm. All right, we're getting into the big one now and you just kind of separate it by pulling. I already pulled it a little bit, but wow. Juicy. Where's that? Yeah, man, I'm finished. Well, this is a leg. Oh, you can eat like, oh, yeah. like. here, so clean up. Yeah? You clean up here, so like this. Mm. Like with here, you clean up all of this. This. Dispose of this. And there's a lot of meat in this now. Oh, okay, I missed that yeah, part. Yeah, then. this is the body. Yeah, okay. yeah. This is the body part mm. of the crab. There's a lot of meat, ah. to the meat and so in it. See, I almost yeah. missed it. Yeah. All right, that's up. Uh, yeah, yeah, man. Go for that. You don't know what you don't know. I almost missed some. Mm. Almost has an even sweeter taste than the, than the leg. Everything done. You want to see? It? Yeah, yeah. Let's see. All right. Cleaned it up properly. Like, look at that. I almost, I almost missed out. I almost Minor. missed out. Everything. Whoa. Everything. Proper, proper. Yeah, we deal with it like a, like sun. Mm -hmm. Grind it out like sun. <laughs> yeah, man. Got a sweet, scotchy, spicy kiss still remaining on my lips from the nice, nice crab there. So please do check this place out. I'll put a pin on the map because it is not in the usual place on Hero Circle. It's just around the corner, right across from the record studio and pressing plant, which is actually making me very curious to check that out as well. So please do check Paul and Marcia. Wonderful people, great vibe, beautiful food and yeah a very authentic type of street food experience so if you want the real deal come out here and yeah definitely don't forget to subscribe to making yard lives good is this oh, the, last one, Moby? the last the famous moby so yeah. we're about an hour late the bucket them the empty, whole thing but empty. everything well there's enough for two of us i think yeah wait, think so? wait so we can get some I think so. All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yo, tell what's that? Man, I'm far and far. Watch out, people. Catch up, catch up. Yo, what time is it? It's no. One, oh, I take this a lot. We can't blame traffic too much because it wasn't too bad. Yeah, choo choo, choo choo. Crazy, crazy vibes. The famous Bobby, right so here. Yeah, Bobby, tell me, tell me about your soup truck here. Because I hear you got something new every day of the week, yeah? Every day is a different soup, right? All right. But if you're not early, look at it. Yeah. You're gonna miss out. Yeah, not early. it's Miss only one o'clock right now. What, what time do you arrive here? We come here at 12 o'clock. Okay. Whoa. And the soup is done in literally one hour. Oh. Catch your butt. <laughs> yeah. Whoa. Catch your butt. So, Bobby, what else do you got going on this week? Soup, soup done in a moment. So, so, you got chicken. Tomorrow, I got pigtail. Tomorrow, it's Thursday. Every Thursday, I have pigtail soup. Okay. Uh, Friday. Yeah, yeah, just finished. Everything done. Sorry about that moment. Um, Friday is conk soup. Conk. So, if you want to get back your body strong, you have link for the conk soup. Arbitrary, Central Plaza, Bulby Soup. Catch a logo. Yes, Bobby. Yeah, you could find me on Instagram. Bulby Soup. Okay, we'll be sure to tag Bobby here. Yeah, man. Yeah. Yo, you gotta be early. This soup, you have to book feet. You can't look feet. You gotta be booked. All right. Yeah, I can see the nice pimento in there. Wow, I feel really lucky just to catch it in time. I can see the delicious pimento. The, the color is so nice and yellow. Whoa. So nice and creamy. Just a little hint of spice. A couple nougos in there. Proper chicken flavor. Mm. They say chicken soup is good for the soul. And I'll say Bulby's chicken soup is good for the mind, body, and soul. You're going to hit all three. Ooh, gives me a kick. <laughs> I got the last one, I'm sorry. Well, I'm a customer, come on. Yeah. May I get a card? What are you Me a card, if you find out if you have soup, if you have come around, and you're not answering the phone. I have 2,000 people that look for one. You try to make sure me go back around me get my parking space, so that's me I tell you. People are complaining for the soup. A serious business, man. Crazy. Yeah, yeah. Wow, you see that? Everyone's coming for it. Everybody. You see that? Yeah, man. If we're there looking earlier, I would see the crowd. Yeah. When I drive in, people actually have crowd around the car before I even park. <laughs> Crazy. Yeah, man.
less than a hour. I can see why it is so good, man. I'm trying to pick out the ingredients. I can I can see the little bit of uh, pimento. Pimento. Even the corn greens. You can taste the corn greens in this. That's some yeah, man. Man. Crazy. Mm. Pumpkin make it thick. Mm. Thick. Yeah, man, I get the pumpkin. body. It's just a vibe. Spinners, you don't know. Spinners, you might not get any because at the last, um, at the last side, this we get. So we, we maybe not get no spinners in this, but the pumpkin, everything, the Irish, everything, we get the body, the carrot, the, the scallion, the thyme, pimento, everything in this. Yeah, just catch on it. We not left out that the pepper because you get that sting. You got a bit of cabbage Crazy. in here too? Did I sense a bit of cabbage? Yeah. No, we're not put the no, cabbage. No, 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 cabbage, okay. Ding dong, say cabbage, but we'll leave that. We're not ready for that part there. Yeah. That have one where I merge, but we're not ready to merge it. Mm. Maybe there's a bit of scallion I have there. Mm. A bit of green onion. Oh. Yeah, man. Let's get yeah, it. Yeah, that's the one. Yeah. Watch out, people. My soup not splash it, rock. <laughs> yeah, cup soup splash. Good soup, rock in the cup. Look at the rock. You see that a rock? Rock the soup, a rock. That's the perfect, perfect, real rock. That's the right thickness. Mm. Not watery. No, no, watery. no, no, that's thick, proper thick. thick. Yeah, man. Mm. Mm. Uh, spinach in there, too. Spinach. Yeah, man. So, is there a most popular day of the week for you? Pigtail, tomorrow. That's the most popular, for real. In time, I cook pigtail soup Thursdays and Tuesdays. It's a, it's a, it's a catastrophe. <laughs> whole place. Yeah. You, 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 you have us like... When hurricane come and the supermarket the people might rush to get goods. Mm -hmm. Alright, when we have big tail, rush them rush to get the soup. Someone calling for soup. Look at that, that's amazing. We got boobs. Boobs Beauty Salon. That is next level. You gotta be pretty confident in your business. So good for them. Check out Boobs Beauty Salon. Maybe after you get your soup. Well, I'm so happy we caught this. I mean you see how mad people got when there was none left? And that's one hour selling out, like nothing, just gone. Ah. Yeah, just yeah, in time. Oh, the soup tastes. Amazing, man. Man. He do crayfish. Yeah. He do crayfish soup too. You do crayfish? On Mondays. On Mondays, crayfish soup. Mondays, crayfish soup. Yeah, that's crazy, man. Yeah, man. Once I go on the, the Instagram, that's the Instagram of people. That's yeah, Bulby yeah. soups on Instagram. So they got Bulby. Bulby soups. Mm. What's this? A green peas? A, a green thing? Yeah man, green peas. Green peas? Yeah. Come and know me and taste green peas. <laughs> <laughs> oh! Wicked soup man. Mm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, we're up to the next spot. Yeah man. Okay. <laughs> we almost miss it. Almost. I feel almost. so lucky man. Yeah man. Hey, super. Sting the pepper. Sting in my throat. <laughs> what? It is so good man. Yeah, it goes down yeah, nice man. and almost. smooth. Not too salty, like a lot of people put a whole heap of salt in there, yeah. but his is just more flavor true, true. with the natural ingredients. So. Natural ingredients with that burst amount of flavor. Proper, proper. Yeah, you can't lose half a Bulby. Yeah. You can't lose half a Bulby. All right, so we're going to link Bulby's Instagram below. Now we're heading back downtown to another spot. So we are on the way. We're going to hit up three different spots today. Finishing it off, number three, with some what? Pigtail? We're going to get. Barbecue pigtail. Go and try barbecue pigtail and stew peas. This is Bobby's soup house, Bobby's jerk soup house. This man had the stew peas with no chicken foot, no other is meat. Normally in Jamaica, when you make stew peas, you put five or four different meat with it. That spot, just strictly pigtail. Just strictly okay. pigtail. Never yeah, had it. Yeah, man, so we'll go and try that. Alright, we're at the last spot for the day. Downtown Kingston, Jamaica. Bobby's Jerk Soup House. It looks legit as well. You know it's a good spot when there's tons of locals hanging around. Just mobbed. We're gonna get a little bit of an intro here from Mick and try some special dishes on the mini today, which I believe is something to do with the pigtail. So not at all I tell, kind of the opposite of what we normally do, but you gotta mix it up once in a while with the content, right? Hey, respect, man. Yeah, nice to meet you. Yeah, yeah. Very excited. Yeah, man. Yeah, what's the intro for this place, Mick? Yo, just crazy pigtail. <laughs> crazy pigtail. Yeah. As I'm gonna say, stew peas, barbecue pigtail. Or if we're the day or not the morning, we could have get some of the, the, um, the saltfish fritters. 
Alright. Yeah, man, that saltfish fritter is not normal. Crazy saltfish is not. But um, we're here and it's like what now? After to two. And you know it's lunchtime. So soup still have one. I think them do two types of pumpkin soup and pea soup. Two types of soup okay. daily. And pig steel daily. Daily. Yeah. So I gotta try some pigtail. Yes. Yeah man. Let's do it. Barbecue pigtail Bobby. Yeah, Alright, bar yeah. ready. It's looking thick. Yeah. Looks legit. So is that your specialty here? What you're famous for? One of, one of, one of the specialty. One of, okay. Yeah. Good answer. Yeah. yeah. We have the signature for this. It don't, you know. Yeah. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Almost done again. How many kilos of peas was in there? Two peas pot. Come on, and come late, so you know it go. Yeah? What? Yeah, still have, still have, um, still have bubble. This is this is Whoa. So what on? Chicken foot to my bubble. So on? Yeah. Soup the outside. Pumpkin chicken foot. Oh, no, 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 I was gonna say, I saw the date, I'm like, oh, this is new. Foot of God. Yeah, yeah. Hand of God. Yeah, yeah man. Great my God, hand of God. Yeah. yeah. I was a foot of God. Yes. Yeah, it's a good year then, Bobby. Yeah, yeah. yeah. it is, it is. I think we gotta try the barbecue pig foot. It'll be a first, definitely. First time? First time. Pig tail, right? Pig tail. Pig tail or pig foot? No man, pigtail. Pigtail. Okay. First time I ate pigtail? I think so, yeah. Really? Yeah, I've got to try it. Yeah, it sounds good. Pigtail is normally salt. Mm. Salty, very that salty flavor. Um, very good in um, in soup also. Sure. Um, the barbecue pigtail, however, now it, it, it gives you a, a mix of both. The spicy, just sweet. Yeah man. So, I'm going to make a try that. Yeah, my pot empty, that means uh, you know it go. What time is it now? Well, lunch it's done just already. Past, uh, almost two. Yeah, man, lunch done already. So you know it go. It's blazing yeah, through the pot. Yeah. That's how you know your place is good. Yeah. Right, that's up. You get the nuffiest big tail ever. The nuffiest big tail are the only place we share like ton loads of pig tail give you to eat. Because pig tail is. is is, is more on the expensive side ah, here yeah. in Jamaica. So you find say when you go places and forget big deal, you get a small amount, limited, you get a small amount, but not right here. Okay. Yeah man. Sugar on the rice? Yeah, sure. Can't say no to that. It's looking too good. That good? <laughs> good? That's good, that's good. Yeah. Yeah, man. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, man. Has to be done. Yes. Good pairing. Good yeah, man. Real, real deal. Look at this. Oh, heavy. Look how thick that is, man. Proper barbecue pigtail. Mmm. Oh my god, man. There's more meat on there than I thought. I, I thought it was just going to be like a hunk of bone and you just go for a scrap, but that's a lot of meat on there. Yeah, I can taste the soy in the barbecue sauce, a little bit of sugar for the sweetness, that perfect mashup of sweet and salty, and almost a molasses like thickness to it, which for a barbecue sauce is so tasty. And the meat on the pigtail is much more meaty than I thought. I thought it would be all fatty and kind of gris gristle, almost like a chicken foot, but... Ooh! Oh man! Yeah, man. Yeah! This part literally gives a different... It, the, the texture of this part is just crazy. Crazy. Man, I love the tip of the tail. Yeah, man. <laughs> <laughs> Boom! Mm. Fired up. Whoa! So I think the thing that surprised me is the amount of meat on there. There's a really nice amount of meat to fat ratio. So you get a real nice texture. You get the chewiness, also a bit of softness. 
and you know it's like any nice real cut of meat you've got to have the veins in there to give it the flavor from the fat so I really had a different expectation of this and I'm, I'm blown away Man. and the gravy all over the rice and peas just coating it and in Jamaica you know the peas are a little different than the peas we get at home we think of peas think of green peas but these are like a red kidney bean but Jamaican classic but with a twist because I would say that barbecue is not the average way that you would find this. Mm. Man, this is amazing. No lie. Mm. Check out. Mm -hmm. I was not expecting that, man. Yeah, man. No. Yeah, man. Man, and, and you can't do a barbecue without beer, in my opinion. Cheers, Bye. Mick. <laughs> yes. Yeah, so, yeah, don't forget to check out Yard Life. Good. Epic, epic channel. Crazy. It's been awesome meeting you and thank you so much for the tour. Yeah, it's man. Been great. Crazy, man. Read your spots. Man. You're welcome, whole, man. Whole bunch of new flavors. I'm sure we'll be able to link up again and try some other stuff. Anytime, brother. You're welcome. Yes. Street, strictly food vibes. Yes. Strictly food. Jamaican food. Cool. Respect, Bobby. Yes. This yeah, is amazing. Yeah, yeah, best yeah, best yeah, I've had, man. First best. time, best time. Yes, yeah, man. Yeah, yeah man. we'll be yeah, sure man. to link Bobby yeah, below, yeah, too. So. Yes. Yeah. 35 East Brook Street. Yeah? Yeah, yeah. Breakfast, lunch. Yeah, we're right here. It's literally about five minutes after two right now, and food done. Food done. <laughs> Completely. Done. People are complaining. That's yeah. the vibe here. Mm. Yeah, man. That's it. Make sure to subscribe. Yard Life's good. Don't miss it. We'll be back soon exploring more of Kingston and all over the island. So, bless up.